Now, uh, I'd like to turn to tonight's uh, first keynote. Uh, she is currently a senior scientist at the Institute of Molecular Medicine, Finland, and uh, she serves there as a the project manager for, of the FinGen Genomics Research Project, which is a large public-private research initiative launched in 2017 uh, that collects genome and health record data from 500,000 Finnish participants. From 2014 to 2017, she was head of genomics and biomarkers unit and director of THL Biobank, uh, which is a nationwide biobank hosted by the Finnish Institute for Health and Welfare. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to introduce on screen Dr. Anu Yalanko. So I hope you will be with us here, Anu. Uh, and, and as I said before, uh, should you have any questions for Arno, please raise them uh, on the website, I'm sure you can find where, using Slido uh, on the same page as the live stream. And from here, one of our staff members can make sure to bring them here to me for the, for the discussion. So Arno, Dr. Jelanko, the floor is yours. Hello. My name is Anu Yalanko. I come from Finn at Helsinki University. I'm going to talk to you today about the Finnish healthcare ecosystem and FinGen, which is a unique model for public-private partnerships in genomic research. We think that Finland is the best country for genetic research uh, because we have national health registers, we have a comprehensive and high quality healthcare system. We have unique genetic ancestry. We have biobanks, experts, and we, most importantly, we have a government support. The government backing comes from the growth strategy of health sector. We also have a biobank act, which is very unique. We have a new legislation for secondary use of health data, and we have a national genome strategy. The health sector growth strategy comes from the collaboration of several ministries in Finland. And the strategy aims Finland to be the source and user of versatile and high quality scientific research, inventions and innovations. And we hope Finland to be a preferred global partner in public-private collaboration in research and innovation. And for that, we are building operational environments for new companies. And we hope Finland to be a reliable partner for international growth of companies, an attractive target country for research and health sector investments. So really a model country for sustainable personal health care. Importantly, we have a new law which is called as Act on Secondary Use of Health and Social Data. Uh, this, we want to ensure our authorities, institutes and companies access to health and social data in Finland, and really to pro pro provide efficient and secure procedures to utilize the data in research, development and also innovation activities, edu also education and knowledge management duties. And for this, we have built a data permit authority. What is this now? Fin data is now our centralized data permit authority. Before we had to apply permits separately from each data owner, and it was a very long process. But currently, FinData provides centralized access to permits and data sets. And they also have prefixed periods for granting permits and access to data. So currently, we really hope that this will help the use of all kinds of health data in Finland. Then a very important factor has been the Finnish Biobank Act from 2013. 
It contains a very heavy process for registration of biobanks via broad consent and protection of participants. We can transfer existing samples and data collections to biobanks. Also, we, there is a possibility to recalling and we can collect samples and data from the healthcare and the collaboration of industry is included there in the consent. Because of this heavy registration process, it so happened that we only have 11 biobanks in Finland. We have six regional biobanks. They are established by hospital districts and universities together. Then we have also nationwide biobanks. And this has been very important for Finland to get because we have now access basically to all of the samples produced uh, in hospitals, in diagnostics and also in research. Then we have an upcoming Finnish Genome Act. Uh, the aim is to support the responsible, equal and secure use of genomic data for the benefit and well-being and health. Uh, we will aim to establish a genome center and a national centralized genome database, which actually these both will support the use of genome data for healthcare and research purposes. They, the act also will enable regulation of genetic testing, and the law is intended to enter Parliament still during 2020. In Finland, we aim to use the power of a genetic isolate. Based on the settlement history of Finland, we have a so-called bottleneck effect in, in our population, which means that our genotypes are very similar, or we can actually calculate the mathematically, which is called imputation, the genotype data to match highly, to provide highly accurate genomic data. So actually, we don't need to sequence the Finnish inhabitants. Genotyping is enough. And this has really a great impact, impact on the price of the gen genetic data. Then our national registers are unique. Actually, in all Nordic countries, we have this type of registers. The hospitals regularly send their data to these centralized registers. So we have data of hospital discharge, procedures, outpatient visits, procedures, cause of death, and so on. And everything can be connected by this one digit personal identification number. This data was originally collected for uh, administration, but currently it is available for research. And this way, from these registers, we can actually access data from every healthcare visit and we can follow up a person over the lifetime. So we have decided to build innovation, innovative study designs by using the asset of the population isolate, the health registers, our unique biobanks and genome data. And we have established already in 2017 the FinGen research project. It is a large research project and utilizing genetic strategies to understand disease mechanisms. So we are using genome-wide association analysis and wide phenotypic mining. What is important is that the FinGen is a public-private partnership. It brings together academic partners, nationwide network of Finnish biobanks, and several pharmaceutical companies. Currently, we have 12 major pharmaceutical companies, which are global. The Finnish public health care, meaning hospitals and also universities, and our, all our 11 biobanks. In Finland, we also have a centralized collaboration of biobanks by BBMRI infrastructure and FinBB which is the biobank cooperative. So we have a one-stop shop for biobank data. Our aim in Finder is to collect data from 500,000 individuals. We are utilizing their existing collections, which is more than 200,000, and then we are collecting prospective collections. And these new biobank sample collections are supported by FinGen project. So this has been a very important growth basis for the Finnish biobanks also. 
the basic idea of Indian is very simple. We are producing genome data, and then in the second step, we are combining the genome data with digital health registry data. Currently, we have access to samples of 480,000 participants. And we have also analyzed genome and health data from 270,000 participants. And this has been really groundbreaking, this collaboration. Uh, besides, we are finding hundreds of novel, novel Finnish enriched protective or risk variants, gene variants. And this has been really surprising. Most importantly, this has been a very open collaboration. It is totally a unique collaboration because these 12 co pharma companies, they are actually openly collaborating with these academic partners. So we are together looking at the data. What do we want then? Of course, we want to better understand the genetic background of diseases, we want to find common risk factors between different diseases, we can want to identify disease subgroups and also risk groups. But especially since we have the pharma partners, it is interesting to identify causative genetic variants and also identify protective variants, because then later on, these initial findings can be utilized for drug development. So we hope that this we have a power of this large genetic isolate, we have national health records, and then we have these global collaborations also uh, to bring Finland into the forefront of health research. Finland is a large research project, so here are acknowledgements. We have more than 200 people, scientists working on this project, and you can find in our web page, you can find also our first results. We have also first publications. Another co primary contact is the scientific director, Arno Palotia. Thank you very much.